Uh, dear audience, let me welcome you here. Uh, this interview is part of the Czech Dead Film Movie Festival, which is festival annually organized by Czech Centers and Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Czech Republic. Czech Dead Film is in its 10th edition this year, but unfortunately we have to go online again due to the COVID-19 situation in the world. But we are happy that we can introduce you uh, Czech filmmakers and directors unless through these short question and answers and I'm here today with Jana Pochtova, director and screenwriter of the documentary K2 My Way. Uh, welcome Jana. Welcome, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I would like to just start with a short introduction, but uh, I hope that all our viewers watched the documentary before, but uh, in case uh, not, uh, I would like to introduce uh, Clara Kolochova, who is the main protagonist in the documentary, and she is Czech uh, mountain climber, who was the first Czech woman who made it on the top of Mount Everest, and also the first Czech woman who made it on the top of K2 and the documentary is about her journey to made it to uh, K2 and uh, Jana the director uh, she was uh, like following her uh, for a few previous years before the journey to K2 itself and she also made it with Clara to the base camp uh, in the mountains so uh, let me start with the uh, few questions. Uh, Jana, whose idea it was to make a movie about Clara's journey to K2? Okay, a few years ago, uh, one of my friends, he is the, actually the owner of Bonton Film uh, Studios, he called me that he has like great idea to do this documentary film and if I'm involved to do it. So I said, okay, I'm not a typical uh, sportive uh, woman, <laughs> but uh, let's try it. Uh, let's meet with Clara. So we met and uh, it was like immediately, like we, full understand, we fully understand each other. And there was like nice atmosphere. So we just decided to do it together. Great, so because I thought that you were friends before you decided to make a movie. So that's a new information that you <laughs> like met uh, only because you were supposed to make the movie. Yeah, yeah, it was like this. But uh, sometimes, you know, the woman energy is just fits together, sometimes not. And this was the case that uh, it was like immediately some kind of friendship, not the super strong one, but after these two years of uh, same journey, um, we just became friends. <laughs> right. So you were following, like following <laughs> Clara for two years before the journey or like one and a half year and then the journey itself? Yes. Uh, well, actually she had, um, she had a few attempts uh, for K2. Uh, this one was the third one, uh, the last one, which was successful. So I didn't, I, I wasn't there when she tried it for the first time. It's like many, many years ago, but I was there. I met there before her second attempt and uh, which was unsuccessful, but uh, it was like really short time before uh, and I had no chance to get the money to, you know, uh, be with there, uh, be with her there. So I did some filming before, then she left, bring material back, which was really disappointing <laughs> because she's definitely, at that time, she wasn't a good uh, camera woman and because she's a climber, right? And uh, then we continue another year. She decides to do it again uh and so it was obvious that i would try now we had a time to find the money but uh it wasn't a, like it wasn't so easy so i found the money to you know share her way um uh, 14 days before we had to leave <laughs> wow <laughs> 
like it was pretty close <laughs> but so you were you were following her for almost two years so um i suppose that you have like so many many hours of the footage uh like of her preparing herself for the journey itself and then uh, from the mountains uh, so how how you made it that there is a movie which is like one and a half hour <laughs> long <laughs> Well, it's the same case with all other movies. Sometimes you have even more. Like my project, what I'm working on now, I already have like 100, uh, 100 hour and I'm just in half. So <laughs> oh. this, this was quite okay. Well, you do a transcript, you just choose what you want to, you know, you just choose all the speaking words. Uh, you do a transcript, then you go through all uh, on the paper, then you choose the stuff from the paper, you edit it, and then you are starting to, you know, uh, finding the main plot, how to edit it. It's always the same and it's always uh, tricky and it's many, many hours. I think that we spent like three months in editing room. Uh, in total, it was around like 40 days, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, sometimes you need, you know, some time off because you are stuck somewhere. You don't know how to continue, but it's, it's the same <laughs> in, in uh, every movie. Yeah, great. As, as we already mentioned, uh, you made it with Clara to the base camp, uh, like a uh, close to the K2 <laughs> and That's you also there. mentioned that you are not a really sportive or maybe you weren't a really sportive woman so <laughs> how was it to to make make it there it I suppose it's really hard already to make it to the base camp and I'm not talking at all about the way up <laughs> but... <laughs> well yeah it, it was funny because um, um, when I agreed to do this film, um, it was also a question if I can make it. And I said, okay, why not? It's a job and I don't like to deny uh, such a nice uh, work. And okay, I will, you know, I will prepare myself. So I will running for half a year before, but we didn't have the money. So I wasn't still sure. And uh, so I had really like 14 days to get shape uh, myself, uh, which was really funny because I work during the day and at 10 p.m. I just took my new shoes, which was like these uh, hard uh, trekking shoes, <laughs> which I bought probably one of my most expensive shoes, <laughs> Goratex and I don't know what else. And I just took the shoes and I was walking up and down, up and down in Petsin Hill. <laughs> so that was um, all my preparation. And uh, then when I, you know, first day when I was on this super long trek, which is normally take like five, six days, uh, sometimes seven, because you need to acclimatize yourself. Um, so it was one uh, around like 130 kilometers through the the biggest uh, glacier in the world. Um, Gorong, uh, not Gorong, Gorong, sorry, it's Africa. I just come back from Africa <laughs> from shooting. It was, you know, I don't know now. It's already two years. Never mind. Uh, Baltoro. It was a Baltoro glacier. So it was quite hard. I was the last from the last. They always waited on me, uh, but I did it. I, you know, it's, it was hard, but I did it. And uh, at the end, it was hard, but it wasn't like uh, impossible to do it. There were plenty of much older person who always ran in front of me, and <laughs> I felt like. Oh my goodness, he's 60 and he's much faster than I am. But yeah, I wasn't there, you know, to do some uh, Guinness records. I was there to do a film. So at the end, it was fine. And actually, we um, we were with Clara in like in front of the first uh, 
not the base camp, but high, uh, high camp uh in 6000 and uh, we couldn't go higher because there were like no place for sleeping in the first uh, camp and also you know we can't be like so fast as she is mm -hmm. and the other climbers so we didn't want to stuck her but my uh, dop like cameraman he was there and because he's like a uh, young sportive climber um it's he's everything what i'm not so <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was preparing himself somehow before or he got the information he's going there those 14 days before as you uh, did yeah actually it was like this <laughs> So we, that, we, wow. we, we, we got a visa and all the permission because you need to pay a quite big amount to just get there. Mm -hmm. So it was all prepared, but we were waiting uh, if we will have a money. Uh, so uh, he was like on standby regime, but he's uh, definitely doing this in his normal life. So <laughs> <laughs> better for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how long uh, did you spend there in this uh, base or high camp? I'm not really sure what the difference is. <laughs> in total, we were there on like five, six weeks, I think. Uh, but there was like, you know, one week there, one week back. So just under the K2, because the base camp is really like under, you can see the mountains uh, quite easily. So we spent the months. Yeah, it was fine sleeping in minus 10 every every night uh, because where there is no sun, it's like the temperature going low. But, you know, it's I'm comparing uh, with the others on top on the mountains where it's like minus 40. <laughs> Yes, that's true. And uh, in the movie, we can see that it was Clara's third attempt, but there were in this third attempt, there were like two attempts. Am I right? That one, they tried it to make it on the top, but they uh, had to go back because there was like bad weather or something. And then they, or you, waited there and they tried it again. Am I right? So mm -hmm. they, they stopped uh, in the first attempt, they stopped uh, like three or four hundred meters under, under the summit, which is quite disappointing and frustrating, actually. Uh, but these last uh, few meters, let's say a few hundred meters, it's probably the most dangerous part on the K2 because uh, there is a part called bottleneck and like a lot of people die there. If somebody died on K2, it was probably there. Not only there, but there was uh, like uh, the most um, uh, most uh, dead people there. So uh, they come back, they came back and um, there was like a big issue if to go back again and risk life because you know, all these ropes, they are already there like one week more and um, the snow going down, which mm -hmm. also put the rope uh, quite and fixed uh, fixed way. It's it's dangerous. So uh, there was a big issue in, in you can see in the film. But she decided to go, and uh, it was lucky because in that time there was these names team names that the guy who he were in he was in the special forces in uh, britain and he did this uh, uh the unbelievable success that he climbed all 14s um the highest um, mountain in in the world just during the seven months before uh, the shorter time the shortest time was eight year so wow. He actually had to go there, so it was a new energy. Uh, he just came back from uh, other previous peak, Nanga Parbat, which is also not easy mountain. So he was really strong, already acclimatized. Uh, so he just, you know, pushed the way up. He put the rope there, so everybody could, could summit it. Great. So you you believed that they will make it when you were there? 
Well, it, for me, it was, uh, I was in a bit like strange situation because, you know, for me, the film is important. It's my life and it's my job and uh, it's not only job for me, of course, but I, that was the first, what I, you know, what I know since I was in school that the people are more important than film. So I was in some kind of like strange situation because for the movie, it, it was better if she will some as it's uh, the K2, but as a friend, as a person, I didn't want to force her because I don't know what's there, what's up there, how, like, uh, how dangerous it is. So I didn't want to force her like, hey, come on, you will do it, uh, go. So I just, you know, said my opinion that he can make it. It's also possible to see in the movie and that was all. Uh, but uh, in some, somehow inside me, I was 100% sure that uh, she's, she's not, she not give it up because, you know, it, it was like pointless, try it like certain time. And uh, as I knew her, I was like almost sure that she will change her mind and she will go up. She will try to submit. Yeah, and she made it. <laughs> so uh, is the movie more about mountain climbing or more about uh, Clara as a woman who who's fulfilling her dreams uh, sometimes against the will of her family probably and you know is, is it more about the climbing or about the fact that she's a woman and she just go for her dreams and uh, she's a mom and she has a family and you know like, what I mean? <laughs> yeah of course i know so you already like answer well, well, what about it uh, was the film was the story morning glory um yeah i from since the beginning i was 100 percent sure that i don't want to do this kind of like adrenaline red bull sport movie with the great drone uh picture and um uh, it it's it's not my topic. I don't care about this adrenaline stuff. For me, the private life is more important. So, uh, yeah, I since the beginning, I decided to do it differently, which is also a, quite disappointing for some kind of audience because they are expecting that there will be like these super shots from summit and. Uh, and everybody's saying it's just about a crying woman with the babies while she's going there if uh, if she's not okay with it but uh, yeah it's like you know order chicken and expect steak uh, so i did a chicken but it's uh, it's still juicy meat <laughs> <laughs> yes and you mentioned like it's about clara's personal life and we can see her family in the movie like her husband uh, children and also mother and father so uh, all of them were willing to be in the movie or you have to persuade them yeah clara is really like so so connect with the family so um it wasn't a problem at all yeah, it's like everybody were involved and she has really good relationship. And that's also why it's a part of the story because uh, it's not so common that uh, the family like is so strong and just uh, they are like living together even if their parents are divorced and they have like other families. So yeah. It was also that's why I, you know, did this story also about this. Yeah. So and uh, probably my last question. You already mentioned that you came back from Africa now. So could you tell us what the next movie will be about, or not? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's. Uh, I'm just uh, doing this kind of like travel documentary series, Natsestje, which is like not. 
like uh, super directing but uh i love to travel it's part of my life uh, like sometimes i'm almost like half of the years out so the the year when i was uh, doing k2 I, I was doing this series in peru bangladesh india it was my year and then k2 and uh, another year america so this is like uh, this will be uh, uh about tanzania but uh, i'm already working on another film more than like one and a half year almost two year and uh, that's the like second part of my job uh, not about traveling but it's about like changing relationships and parenthood and uh, like so society uh, in 21st century, and it will be about uh, relationship, different kind of relationship, not this like classic monogamic. And it will be about polyamory, open relationship. There will be also like strictly monogamic, uh, monogamy uh, couple. And there is uh, the woman with the, uh, she's a lover like uh, he has a, like married man he's dating married men so there is also one of the topic is about like this strange uh, 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 dating apps you know because it's also a trap <laughs> for a lot of people just you know be there and this is adrenaline so there is also one part which is like uh, somehow edit on on dating apps yeah that, that's my project which i'm already like working on two years and already filming so another two years and maybe we will do another interview together <laughs> probably we have uh, something to look forward to watch uh, <laughs> thank you Anna. thank you for the interview and i would like to also thank our audience for watching us and i would like to invite you to watch other movies we have in the selection this year and we have other documentaries which is new for this year's of check that film uh, thank you bye okay i thank you uh a lot and i hope you did enjoy the movie and uh, you will watch documentary film because uh, they are good <laughs> <laughs> they are thank you yeah. bye